Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get to talking about the subject of this video, I want to talk to you for a little bit about my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors. And Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee. This is the Bumblebee figure that us G1ers have been waiting 37 years to get. A Bumblebee that transforms into his Cybertronian vehicle form from the very first episode of the Generation 1 cartoon. Now, I got this figure thanks to my Texas toy hunting buddy, Brad, who found him for me at a Target. He saw him, sent me a quick Facebook message, says, hey, you want this figure? And I'm like, yes, please. I paid him, and Bumblebee here is in my hand. So, Brad, thank you so much. Now let's take a quick look at the packaging. And what's weird about this packaging is there's no clear window. You can reach right in and mess with the figure. And that's just, that's really weird to me. And I love the art that wraps around this packaging. You've got a nice shot of Bumblebee here. You got a shot of cartoon Bumblebee right there. I'm not sure what that may be from, Robots in Disguise or Cyberverse. Right there, you've got Marvel UK art. I mean, I love, I mean, that's Bumblebee throughout the generations and that is fantastic. On the side of the box here, there's another shot of Bumblebee. Now back of the packaging, We've got Bumblebee in robot mode with a pistol. Looks like he also comes with a jetpack, his Cybertronian vehicle mode, and Energon rods. So now, without further ado, let's get this Bumblebee opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Origin Bumblebee all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with a black pistol, a black jetpack, and five Energon conductors, if I can get them all picked up. But we'll go over these accessories more later on in the video. Now, let's take a closer look at Bumblebee himself. Now, first things first, I have had this figure for about a week now. I actually got Origin B here before I got the World's Collide Pack, but I opened that one first because I wanted to check out Primal. But once I got this guy opened up, I was really surprised how good he was. I mean, I was originally going to pass off the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line as a line geared more toward younger Transformer fans. But this one right here has absolutely blown me away. First off, he is a Bumblebee that transforms into his original Cybertronian mode from the very first episode of the Generation 1 cartoon. We've never had that before, so that is awesome. And he looks great. I love the head sculpt. Great paint applications. He's got the blue eyes right there. The faux windows for vehicle mode on the chest autobot logo dead center in the middle i love this right here this grill which is actually for the vehicle mode but looks really good on robot mode got some molded detail there on the crotch plate and painted detail right down here on the toes to make it look like the bumper from the vw beetle 
Now, he does have some leg kibble and a little bit of a backpack, but that really doesn't bother me because this is Bumblebee on Cybertron, so I can forgive that, and it's really not that bad. The backpack folds up pretty tight against his back. He's got some pretty big feet, and the leg kibble, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's no biggie. There's Transformers that have had worse. Now, articulation for Bumblebee is the head is on a ball joint, can look up and down, do a complete 360. The arms can do a complete 360. And I do want to note that this buzzworthy Bumblebee figure has some really nice and tight joints. Arms can go up, they can go down. There is a elbow bend, elbow rotation, no wrist rotation, but the wrist can go down and up like so, but that's for transformation. There is waist rotation. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, they can go in. There is a rotation right there at the upper thigh. There is a knee bend, though it's not a very deep knee bend because this little piece right here is going to get in the way. There is also ankle tilts and no ankle rotation. So lots and lots of articulation for this guy. I mean, he's pretty awesome for such a small figure. Now, another thing I want to point out is with the face sculpt on Origin Bumblebee, I feel that is more cartoon accurate than say this version of Buzzworthy Bumblebee, which looks more cartoon accurate. If you'll take a look here at Buzzworthy, See how he has the lines on his face, just like the Generation 1 cartoon. So that is awesome. I really like the looks of this figure. Plus, the color scheme is spot on. I like the bright yellow, just like this version, the Worlds Collide version, compared to the Netflix version, which is more of a mustard color. I mean, this is a great figure, but I wish this figure had this color scheme. So that's pretty much it for the figure. Now let's take a look at the accessories he came with. We've got the Energon conductors, the jetpack, and the pistol. Now notice first off, the conductors are orange and the pistol and jetpack are black. On the back of the box, it's shown that the conductors are yellow and the pistol and jetpack are gray and I really wish they had stuck with that color scheme because the black I've just never been a big fan of black accessories so looking at the Energon rods first I mean they're okay these are a nice throwback to the generation one episode where Bumblebee and Wheeljack are stealing these Energon rods from the Decepticons in order to fuel themselves but you can't really do much with these. They will not fit in Bumblebee's hand. There's nowhere to place them on the figure. I've looked because here at the tip, there are these slots. So I thought maybe it could slot them onto his back or something, but I have yet to find anything. So if you guys happen to have this figure and have figured out what to do with these, let me know in the comments. So you've got five of these Energon conductors, and yeah, there they are. The pistol here looks really good and pretty much spot on to the one that's shown in the episode where he's stealing those Energon conductors, though I wish it was gray instead of black. You can put that right there in his hand, so you've got Bumblebee all armed and ready for battle. And then we have the jetpack, and I've had quite a few people ask, if this jetpack is the same that came with the Centurion drone. It is not. It's a lot smaller and a completely different sculpt. And it's molded. As you can see, this one's molded for side swipe. This one is specifically molded for Bumblebee here, but I'm sure you could use it with other figures. So you've got that going on. That, that actually made me happy because I was thinking this was another version of this one too. So it's nice to have a couple different jetpacks. And it's got some really nice sculpting. So of course you can put the jetpack on the back of Bumblebee here. And it is Blast Effect compatible. Got a couple Blast Effects right here. Just plug those into the exhausts. 
And there we go. We got Bumblebee blasting off to fight some Decepticons. Now, what I find funny is they've included this jetpack, and Bumblebee didn't use a jetpack in the episode where he's shown like this. The jetpack on Bumblebee didn't appear until the episode Dinobot Island, where he's flying with Power Glide to Dinobot Island. So I don't I don't get the jetpack. It's just, I guess, an extra accessory in order for us to pay some more money. Now I will show off that the pistol is also Blast Effect compatible. So there you go. Bumblebee is ready to rock. So now let's get Origin Bumblebee transformed into vehicle mode. Now, Origin Bumblebee has a pretty cool transformation. The first thing we're going to do is take the fists and fold them up in under the arms. Go ahead and spin the waist a 180. Take the back section here and unfold this just like so. It's going to flip down and then a second time. And what you want to do is go ahead and snap this section against the section right there with the windshield. This can be a little scary at first. It's got really thin tabs right there. So just kind of work that and get that into place. One side always pops in a little bit better than the other. So there you go. Just have that folded up out of the way. Now you're going to take the chest section, fold this out like so, and just wrap it around Bumblebee's head, bringing this whole section forward. So you've got that look going on. Now what you're going to do is take Bumblebee's arms, straighten them up, and then rotate them all the way around. Just like that, you'll see a little tab right there on his left arm that will tab into the slot on the right. So you just get that tab together. So now we have this look going on. Now comes the legs, and I really like how the feet and legs transform. You're gonna take the foot and unfold it just like so. So it's going to point straight down. Take the sections right here. You're going to fold these around. And this will pop off. This pops off every time. So you got to watch for that. Fold that up and this section down. Now you'll see right here how that lines up. And that's going to be a perfect fit for the foot. And go ahead and do this here. On the other side, unfold this. Be really careful. That will pop off. Bring that up. Now, now, now that side popped off. Always on camera. So bring this up and around. And then just fold the foot into it like so. So you've got those saucer feet going on. Now we're going to bring all of this around like so. You want to bring this section up here too and that's going to go flying off my one complaint with this toy as far as transformation goes at least everything pops off and like i said i've had this figure for a week every time i transform him <laughs> these sections pop off so let's go ahead and bring this hood section back or the canopy and then you're going to snap the front of the figure or the front of the vehicle in just like so. And then you'll see how this lines up. I may have got that in wrong. Let's go ahead and we'll finish folding this down and around. Bring this over, bring that up. And there we go. So it came together nice and smooth. You just want to tab everything in together, get your missing piece, put this back in. I'll make sure I have the right section attached pop that in and just get everything tabbed into place. As you can see, that one didn't go in right there. You wanna make sure all the tabs go in correctly. And once you have all of the tabs tabbed into place correctly, nice and tight, you have Bumblebee's Cybertronian alt mode. And I love the looks of this. This is so cool near a spitting image of that original G1 cartoon version. Everything lines up really good. Lots of great panel lining. Everything tabs in real good. Though, as you saw, it can be a pain to transform with those pieces popping off. But pops right back into place. No biggie whatsoever. 
I do like that the front of the chest actually turns into the front of the vehicle. You got the Autobot logo right there and that grill that I showed off earlier. You've got a translucent blue cockpit right there. And that's pretty much it as far as paint applications are concerned. Now there are some ports on either side. I guess those are the wings that if you wish, you can put Bumblebee's pistol in or you can put it right up here on top. Also, the jetpack can be utilized in Bumblebee's vehicle mode, though it really doesn't look that good. Now, I do wish he had wheels or something underneath to, you know, kind of roll it along, but it doesn't. It just sits flat and you can just glide it along or whatever you choose, but that is awesome looking. And honestly, I think I'll probably pose a Bumblebee figure, one of my others, let's see, maybe this one right here, and just pose these two together. So I have Bumblebee and his Cybertronian alt mode because I just think that alt mode is sweet. So there you go, guys. Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee in Cybertronian alt mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee with Generation 1 Bumblebee, Generation 1 Classic Pretenders Bumblebee, Titans Return Bumblebee, War for Cybertron Netflix Bumblebee, and Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide Bumblebee. Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee is an awesome figure. I really like this toy. It definitely took me by surprise. My only complaints with the figure, I'm not a big fan of the accessories he came with. Though I love the pistol, the jetpack can at least be utilized with some other figures, but the Energon rods here, they're kind of lame. I like that they were giving us another nod to the original G1 cartoon, but you can't really do anything with them. I mean, I have them taped together right there just for this pose. So maybe something a little different would have been nice. Maybe more blast effects because you can never go wrong with more blast effects. So there you go, guys. Transformers, Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Origin Bumblebee. So does a Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Bumblebee belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic toy and a love letter from Hasbro to us old school G1ers. He's got a great robot mode, a fantastic vehicle mode, and just all around a really good toy. I do have a couple small complaints though. The accessories he comes with, though I do like the pistol, I feel like I wish they were colored gray and... These Energon conductors, we could have done without those and maybe some more blast effects instead because, man, I love me some blast effects. But other than that, I think this is a perfect Origin Bumblebee figure. It's just, I really was impressed with this guy. So, yeah, you see this one on the shelf. Pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.